Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Mindless World Podcast. It's your boy, Sam. We're going to be doing it solo today, but it's all good in the hood. Um, uh, yeah, um, I know that we just got back to doing things normal, uh, but uh, we're going to we're gonna be changing it up, throwing a little change up out there again. Uh, we got a, a good friend of the channel on today. Uh, his name is Anthony, um, and uh, he was a Not Scary Farm monster. Anthony, why don't you go ahead and introduce yep. yourself? Hello, my name is Anthony, and I was a... Street monster in the uh, hollows. My character was a scarecrow. Nice, nice. Um, so you were a scarecrow. So how long have you been a monster at knots for? Uh, I've been a monster at knots for like three years. This was like this past season was like my third year at knots. De- definitely, that's super cool. Um, have you been in the hollow for all three of those years, or have you been in other places as well? No, this past season was my first year in the in the hollow. And I've been in other places, but. Uh, Past two years, uh, in 2017 and 18, uh, I've been I was in uh, special ops inspector in the mystery lodge uh, area, so I was there for two years. Super chill. What did you do there in uh, special ops? Were you uh, a zombie squad leader? Yes, I was a zombie for two years in affected. It was it was pretty fun. Huh, that's super cool. Um, that's that's interesting. So, what made you want to go out into the streets? Uh, just by like. Why I wanted to go out there is because like I had friends to in- encourage me, and like, cause I wanted to see myself out there in the hollow. Cause I, it's a, I heard there's a pretty good street zone, so I just went from there. You know, I went for there. So yeah. Definitely. So thinking back um, to when you when you first uh, got out there, um, what made you decide to want to audition for the hollow? Like, um, was it like was that the street zone you wanted, or was there another street zone you wanted to be in? Uh, yes, that was when I went in, when I went in there to go audition. That was the street zone that I mostly wanted the hollow because it was a pretty. I heard it was a pretty good street zone. Like they get like really good scares in that zone. So yeah, definitely. Um, they they do get some really good scares. It was definitely a favorite of Tony and mine. Um, yeah, to definitely. go out there and hang out and watch everyone do their thing. Um, you know, we've had a, a few different guests prior who were part of that street zone and it was really interesting you know hear their different takes um, oh yeah i've um, seen like riley in there too he's pretty good he's a, he's a good friend of mine oh definitely that's super cool and um, that's good uh-huh. to hear um so um did your character have like a specific like backstory or anything uh i think his he kind of had one but like i think his backstory was like the because like the mother witch um of the hollow so when the witch was like the mother witch, I guess, like she was like she took a control underneath under of all like the scarecrows. She had a, so she was a witch who like, took care of, or she was controlled uh, of all the scarecrows. Okay, so you were uh, so the mother witch was in control of you, correct? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so did you like get to interact with the mother witch every night, or? No. Mm. Not really, but uh, other nights we like sometimes like interact with each other. Like sometimes a uh, few nights we 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 would, and other times we we wouldn't. I would just and just would just be like going solo and all that. Yeah. So did you find it more effective to go out on your own, or in do or like with a group of people? Uh, other nights sometimes I would just go effectively like go solo. Was it like Fridays sometimes? But mostly when you get like those like crowded nights, like Saturday nights or busy nights, I would just go like with a crowd like. With two or three or like groups of friends that I have with, we just go uh, out in any group. Definitely. Would you say that it's easier to be scared with like your friends, or is it like easier to scare by yourself? I think it's like more easier to scare like with your friends like anyway, because you get more of the scares. But then at other times you get more of the scares like solo sometimes. At other nights, so it's pretty fun out there. Definitely. I. It looks like you guys do have a good time every time I've been able to interact with you all. Uh huh. Um, so, um, do you have like a favorite scare from this season? Uh, I had a few scares. I remember like the first scare was like when I was like walking up to this group or something, uh-huh. like in the middle of the night. I think it was either Friday or Saturday night. I'm pretty sure it was a Friday or something, but 
when I was like doing like my my character walk, and then I saw like a group of uh, girls are like scared, and then like when I was like walking towards them for my character walk, I stopped and I looked on my left side, and then I turned like a D sixty uh, route, and then I just scared them like and I went to them, and then they scared them, like right right after I passed right by them. It's pretty cool. It's fun out there. Definitely. Um. So you, I, I'm assuming you enjoy scaring people, then, correct? Yes, I do. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's fun passion. Yeah. No. I. I definitely. Um. I definitely can see that. Um. So, do you have like any like funny stories of like scares you've gotten? Uh, funny stories. I think I have a few. I'm trying to remember, but I, I think um when we're it's one it's one moment like kind of at the season almost when it was almost over uh one of the uh, Monster C2 is scaring them, and then, like, somehow, and then, like, Riley, he came up for nowhere, and then he scared him good, so, like, Riley, he made the guest to drop her, to drop the girls, like, icing and all that. I was like, oh, shit, that's, that's, that's just crazy. Definitely, yeah, it is really, it's really interesting and really funny to watch people get scared um, and, and drop things. I know that throughout the season, okay, yeah. we, we saw tons of things dropped, uh, Lots of beers, yeah. lots of drinks. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's uh, just uh, or even my even more funny to me is when like when people would actually fall on the ground. Do, have you ever scared someone where they fell on the ground? Uh, I think I have one time. One time I did. Yeah. Do you remember like how that happened? Um, I'm. I think so. Yeah, I think one time. I think it was a Saturday night. It was like me and like two of my friends were just like going out for a scare, and then. Um, we like somehow, I was like kind of like sliding, but not really. So I was, I was just crawling on my knees to scare them. And then my friend came up like, because he was a slider. So, and then like, he just came up and he scared them. And then she, he made her like to fall on, on the ground. Oh, wow. That's really funny. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. what, uh, what was what was like your favorite scare tactic? You've mentioned like your character walk. Did you choose any other like different like things to scare people? Mm, I had a, like a few like... Uh, character things that I walked in, but most of it was just like my my character walk and all that. Sure, I, obviously, yeah. Um, I think that's a very important thing of being in the streets is really developing that character walk so that you're yeah. able to utilize that when you're walking around so that you can get those scares um, um, uh -huh. and you know really creep people out. Um, and so uh, thinking back to when you were in infected, like. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest change from moving from, like, Infected out into the Hollow? My biggest change was, like, um, I was, like, in this one room that I was staying for two years called, like, the warehouse, but then, like, they changed it up to, like, a new room. So, like, for one of the nights in my, like, in my second year in Infected, um, in the middle of the season, they had me to put in, uh, in Alpha Streets. So, I think that's what kind of, like, what, like, helped me out there in, in Infected. Oh, okay. So, like, using, like, the Alpha Street, um, like, when you were in Infected, you, you said you were in Alpha Street, and that yeah. really kind of, like, felt like that really prepared you to be able to go out and go and kill it in the hollows, correct? Yes. Definitely. Um, um, so this is another fun question we usually like to ask, you know, when we do get scare actors, um, you know, the opportunity to sit down and chat with them, is, like, how do you get into character every night? Do you, like, listen to music? Do you sleep? Uh Yes, uh, the way how I, like, get into it the, the, the night before when I get ready for the night, uh, I would usually, like, I would get, like, my uh, areas to my zone, and I would just go upstairs, and then I'd be getting ready, and then I would be, like, putting on my, my eye makeup, and then I'd be listening to some music when I'm, like, getting ready and stuff. Definitely. What kind of music uh, would you be listening to? Uh, well, I'd be getting ready. I'd be listening, mostly I'd be listening to, like, to, to Ghost or, like, Slipknot and all that. We get oh, into definitely. the night. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. It's like that kind of like metal music. Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's in middle. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. I, I know that some, that's what, um, when me and Tony would be going to the events, that was what we would like to do is like listen to yeah, that kind of music to get pumped up, to get the blood flowing, um, and to really get um, in that zone um, before walking in those gates. Um, <clears throat> uh, when did you know you wanted to, to uh, like try out to become a Knots monster? Uh,. I went to, cause since uh, I went to the event like in 2016, like, when I first year going to guess so, and then that's I wanted to be a notch monster for like a few uh, years. So I went into my first year was like uh, 2017 when I went to like audition, 
my seventh year, so I, I was like a zombie for my first year. Yeah. And then for my second year, I went back to go to audition in the audition room, and then I wanted to try it for Hollow, but in the audition room, but I didn't, I didn't make it. So then, then that's when I had to go back to if I did. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, were you nervous when you when you first auditioned, um, to to become a knots monster? Yeah, I was like, kind of like nervous, like when I were first went in, like in 2017. I was pretty nervous. Okay, uh, definitely. And how did how do you think you got over those nerves? Uh, I think I got over them like pretty quickly because I had like a few friends tell me like like just don't be nervous, don't be don't be scared. You gotta like all like, oh, you gotta go like, all in there and stuff like you gotta do like your character things in the like audition room and all that. Perfect. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so like, how do you like uh, going back to your scarecrow character? Like, yeah. do you draw inspiration from like movies or any like books? Like, you know, to as you developed your character. Um, mainly like some movies I I did, like some movies that I got I got inspiration from. Like, I think it's one. I think maybe uh, Dubious Creepers probably. Like, anyway. I got like that kind of like, movie vibe. Definitely, I've never seen that movie. So, like, could you, do you mind telling me like a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, I think for when I got for the character with Scarecrow, because I've seen it like I think all the movies with Scarecrow, so I think I just had it like in a way, in a sense or something. So, like when I went into it, I was like, oh, okay, that movie looks pretty good. Oh, that like uh, character or monster looks pretty good. So I wanted to go and just try it out. So I did that, and it was. I think you gotta get like a good like a couple of scares in there with that like backstory and all that from the movie. Okay, yeah, definitely that makes sense. Um, uh-huh. Do you have like a favorite moment from this uh, from this season? My favorite moment is like when uh, me and like. My friend, we were like walking and running in the street zone and all that. And then uh, I guess we're making this one, like, I think it's a mother because she's trying to like, not scare her kid. And me and, her, and me and my friend were just like clapping, like, like with our gloves because we were like uh, annoying her kind of. So like, she was getting scared and all that. It was pretty fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. So it seems like that was a fun time. Um, and then, would like you have any advice for anyone that like may become like may want to become a scare actor one day? Yeah, um, if like new people wanted to come into an event to audition for the not scary form, they want to be a scare monster. I gotta say, like, just go in and don't be nervous. Just gotta go out. You gotta go all out if you want. Wanted to go like as a like a street monster, you gotta go like, all out. You can't be scared. You just gotta go like all in. You can can't be nervous. You gotta go in. Definitely, I, I I think that's you know what a lot of um, you know the people that have had the opportunity to, to chat with is like you know you just got to be able to go in there and do your thing, um, uh-huh, and, and, and you know not be scared and just be like willing to let loose and and take a chance. Yeah, really letting loose. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then another question here, um, a little bit more off topic is: Do you have a favorite like horror movie? Uh, my I feel like a few. My favorite is like uh. The Shining and mostly like the Halloween movies, like John Carpenter mo- uh, Halloween movies. Definitely, I-, I just seen the The Shining for the first time this year. Have you seen Doctor Strange already? Oh uh, no, I haven't. But I'm, I want to see it Doctor soon. Sleep, I'm I mean, fighting. I mean, Doctor Sleep. I, I don't know why. Yeah, Doctor Sleep. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching Doctor Strange before this. That's why I said that. But yeah, so you already saw Doctor Sleep then. I haven't, but I've seen this, The Shining, but I've seen the trailer for it. It looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, it does. It looks pretty good. I haven't seen it either, but it looks pretty cool. Um, uh-huh. And then which Halloween do you like better, the 1978 one or the 2018 one? I think I like uh, the 2018 film where he first got into, like, the prison game, how he got in trapped, how he got trapped into, like, the the prison and all that. Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. We have all the, like, he was in the mental asylum or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's like one of my favorite movies. Definitely, it's a really good movie. I, I enjoyed that movie as well. Um, what? Uh, well, will you be coming back next season to the Hollow? Yes, definitely. I want to come back to the Hollow next season so that I was able to slide in my second year. So I have to like take the the slider test like after a good year or so. 
Definitely. Like a it. Super cool. And have you been practicing on sliding already? Yes, I have. I've been going to the rink since like 2017. Okay. Rink. So everybody goes to the rink, like all the monsters, all the notch monsters who are like streets or some of the, some of the armies, but mostly the street monsters, they go to the rink at a uh, Thomas Sports Parking Garden Road. Okay. Definitely. That's where all of them, uh-huh, that's where all of them go and practice like during the, the off season. So like, uh, how often do you practice? Uh, we mostly practice to like, we usually get there, some of them will get there like at six or seven and then they'll just be there and they'll be there till like nine or ten. Okay, cool, cool. And how often do you find yourself out at the rink? Uh, sometimes like really often, like I don't really go during the Christmas time, I always really go like during like the summer sometimes when it gets like, I go like I'm getting like close to the season, almost where it's like most actually like, mid-summer, almost kind of. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well. Uh, that's all the questions I have. Do you have any questions? Um, for the question, uh, were you ever wanted to? Were, were you ever wanted to, to, to try out to become a, a monster? Oh, that, uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, if the stars aligned correctly, um, I, I would be able. I would do it, but. Like I said, it would have to. There'd have to be a lot of things to align for me to be able to do it. But um, definitely um, was a big fan of going out there and watching everyone kick their butt out, um, day in and day in, uh, day in and day, day out. Day out. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, I'm, obviously, you know, I, I hope to be there again next season, going as much as possible. But um, yes, what did you? Yeah. But it would it would take it would take a lot for me to be able to. to be able to uh-huh. go out there because obviously um with work and things like that but maybe one I heard, day yeah i know i heard uh tony he said that uh, he could have mentioned that if he wants to become a monster for next season he wants to try to audition next season he says yeah definitely yeah he, he's definitely is thinking about it and we've had a few different conversations um uh-huh. but yeah definitely um so yeah if if i ever did though i know that it would be a killer time um and I know that it would be a lot of fun and, you know, really get to just based upon, you know, everything I've heard from people like yourself, you know, it's a good time and, um, it's hard work, but if you, oh, yeah, it definitely doing, is. it's definitely uh-huh. well worth it. Um, but yeah, so... I know uh, I have this one like f- funny joke kind of, uh, in anyway, I know I've been watching like the, the videos, like the podcast, every, uh, much from ghost town, they've been saying like, like give me a sleeping like at haunt in like uh bench or at the Kmart's bench. Like give me a sleeping there. Is that right? For sleeping? Yeah, I I, I did. I have, yeah. I have fallen asleep on that bench a few times. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, this, uh, uh, Tony was saying that you should go over to the Halloween see if you find like a bench somewhere to sleep there. So like some of us could like scare you there or something. <laughs> I did fall asleep in the hollow right over a few times over right by. I did. Uh. Um, where like a lot of the people slide up. Oh, right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, see you right there. Yeah, towards like the back end, going towards Fiesta. I, I, I did fall asleep there like twice. Oh I damn! I can't remember. It might have been more, yeah. but yes. I yeah, did. I would always see people slide too. Like I would be out there sometimes, and then I would just like watch people slide so that I could like know like what like for to watch out for like for next season, so I could know know that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's always good to to take notes from other people and. Um, learn from people that have been out there a little bit longer um, so that you can, you know... Yeah, definitely. Fall into that idea of iron sharpening iron. Uh-huh. I'm planning to make some, like, new pair of gloves for next season, so that's why I'm going to maybe some new shoes, too. For sliding oh, shoes. Definitely. Um, it's always a, yeah, it's, it's always a good idea to probably have some new shoes and some new gloves just in case you don't want to tear through them or... or get yeah. Them. I know like a few of my friends saying that they also want to come back to like the hollow next season to CS. They want to come back next season. Yeah, definitely. Um, I heard CS is like a family, and uh, you know, oh yeah, once definitely. You're there, it's, you definitely want to stay there for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah. Once you yeah, once you're there for like us monsters, like once you're there for like one year, then you will definitely become like a family part of like the hollow and like Camp Stupid and all that. Yeah, definitely. Like, mostly people, they, uh, mostly when people like stay there for like five years then like at the end of the season because they get like a, a, b- a banquet and then they get this plaque saying like that they've been there for like five years it's, oh, wow. it's pretty cool uh-huh that's really cool that you get a 
like an yeah. award for you know for long. Oh yeah, days. yeah, we do get awards at the bank. We know that. Nice, yeah, of course. I heard like uh, when we talked with Riley, he let us know. Oh, uh, Riley! Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he he had won a few awards while in the hollow. Yeah, he got a monster of the year and side of the year. I was like, oh wow, not to him even. He got the the belt for like side of the year, I think, or much of the year. He got get, he got a belt for it too. It's just, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a belt for it. That's really cool. That's the first I heard about that. Uh huh. That's really cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today. Um, thank you to everyone that uh, watched the video today. Um, and uh, you know, if you want to drop a like, drop a comment, um, let us know your thoughts. Um, and what uh, you know, what your favorite moments were from the season. Um, you can always follow us at Instagram at the Knights of Horror or Twitter at Knights of Horror. Um, if you're feeling extra generous, you can always catch us on Patreon. Um, we accept uh, donations between one and twenty dollars with different tiers and rewards. Um, but always, we just you know happy for anyone that drops that like, drops a comment, and subscribes or turns those bell notifications on. Um, like I said, that'll do it for today, and we we'll hope to see you in that next video. Peace. Thanks, th thanks to thanks to everyone, and everything is my thing to plug in. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it, yeah, go for your plug. Yeah. Um. So if you guys want to like follow me, I have a YouTube. My YouTube is Kitchen Fan Twenty, but I really use that. So mostly my Instagram is uh, CS Anthony Twenty One. So if you, anyone wants to follow me on Instagram, just hit me up through there. I have Instagram, so yeah. Please give me a follow back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, go out, follow the homie CS dot Anthony twenty one. Yep, and yep. Let him show him some love. All right, we'll see you in the next episode.